How to connect Linksys router to another to expand the network as an access point. In addition to increasing your network capacity, a second router can also be placed in Wi-Fi blackout areas where the wireless signal is weak or non-existent. This video teaches you how to add a Linksys router to your home or small business network. Setting up the first router. Connect router 1 to a computer. Use an Ethernet cable to connect from one of router 1's LAN ports to a computer's Ethernet port. For the purpose of this video, we will refer to the TP-Link router as router 1 inch. You can also connect to the router wirelessly using the Wi-Fi name and pass key. Open command prompt and type pip config to find the IP address for router 1. IP address is 192.168.0.1. Open a web browser, enter 192.168.0.1 TP-Link Router Use Admin as the username and password Find the default IP address for Router 1 Network LAN IP address is 192.168.0.1 Enable DHCP on Router 1. Click DHCP on left page. Enable. In most cases, the DHCP server is turned on by default. You can usually find these settings under Network Settings or LAN Settings. The admin user interface layout is different from one router make and model to another. Wireless Network Info Wireless Network Name is NED Wireless password is 12345678 Disconnect router 1 from the computer. Remove the ethernet cable between router 1 and the computer. Setting up Linksys router. For the purpose of this video, we will refer to the Linksys router as access point. Connect Linksys router to a computer. Use an Ethernet cable to connect from one of Linksys LAN ports to a computer's Ethernet port. Open command prompt and type pip config to find the default IP address for Linksys router. Open a web browser, enter 192.168.1.1. This opens the admin login screen for Linksys router. Continue with an open and unsecured network. I understand. Continue. Linksys router use admin as the username and password. Configure Linksys router Wi-Fi name and passkey. They should be identical to router 1. Basic wireless settings. Manual. They should be identical to router 1. Wireless Security Settings
Pa too personal. They should be identical to outer one. Then click Save Settings to Save Configure. Assign a new IP address to Linksys. Network setup. To prevent IP conflicts, Linksys router needs to have a different IP address than router 1. In this example, do not use the IP address 192.168.0.1. In this example, that IP address is 192.168.10.250. Disable DHCP on Linksys. Since DHCP is enabled on Router 1, it should be disabled on Linksys to prevent IP conflicts. Then click Save Settings to Save Configure. Bringing your network online. Connect the first router to the Linksys access point. Use an Ethernet cable to connect to a LAN port on Router 1. Then connect to the LAN port on Linksys access point. Make sure you're not plugging it into the WAN port as they look similar. Connect other computers and devices. This can be done wirelessly, or by connecting Ethernet cables to LAN ports on router. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe.